The next portion of the demonstration, we're going to take a look at um, uh, configuration management through uh, using a family of assemblies, or what we refer to as FOA. And then we'll also take a look at our wire harness uh, capabilities within uh, Solid Edge with synchronous technology. In order to do that, uh, again, I'm going to change the display configuration to that of configuration management. And you're going to see that it uh, turns on a specific view where we have some five buttons. I'm then going to in place activate into this subassembly. And once we get in there, I'm going to locate that particular uh, family of assemblies, if you will. Right click on it and use the replace capability. Now, the family of us, uh, families of assemblies have already been created. And so once they're created and you replace an FOA, it gives you uh, this assembly member dialog where you can identify which member you want to replace it with. So go ahead and click on the OK button. And you can see I now have a 4 button. If I want to change that again and maybe even go to a 3 button, I can do that. The neat thing about uh, about FOA and being able to use this replace functionality is the option for config, uh, dynamic configuration. What they mean by dynamic configuration is that if you select that and you don't really see a member that you want to use, you can go in and actually add, uh, you can add members to the selection list and, uh, and, and build your own new family of assembly member through this configuration. So it allows you to configure your own family of assemblies. Uh, obviously, when you select one of these, you can uh, place an ex uh, existing member configuration, or you can create a new member by selecting this and maybe taking parts out of it. Uh, or you can create a new assembly document from an FOA. So it gives you a lot of capability here, a lot of powerful uh, capability. Now what we want to take a quick look at is also our wire harness capability. So I'm going to go ahead and change our display configuration uh, to the uh, build the wire harness configuration. You can see here that we uh, are looking at the bottom of our console. And so what I'm going to do basically is uh, go into the tools tab where you'll find the harness, uh, wire harness it takes us into the wire harness environment showing us uh, those particular commands and for this particular demonstration I'm going to use the wizard. Now when I select the wizard you'll see it brings up a step one of three for this wire harness wizard. It allows us to pick the format in which we want to use. In this case I'm just going to use our solid edge sample where I've already got a components document built and I've also got a connection. Basically, it defines the components in the assembly that I'm using and what connection points on each one of those components are and what their name, uh, their, uh, what their, their uh, unique ID identifier is. It gives us the names of those components, their description, st um, status, if they're populated. If they're not in the assembly, it allows us to go and actually assign a component uh, and an occurrence for that particular uh, component. So it's very, very flexible and works with you on the fly. Then we can go to the third step, which actually defines the, um, the path name and then the actual from component and uh, terminal name to component and to terminal. So it tells us where the wire to go, what component from what component to what component and which terminal to go and uh, to go from and to. And then, of course, it tells us uh, which wire it's actually going to use. So when we click on the Finish button, you can see that it automatically builds those wires, a lightweight representation of those wires, very quickly. You can see the component that was created in each one of the terminals that was defined. The next thing I want to show you is how we can uh, actually, the bundle command, how we can bundle wires together by just simply identifying the wires we want to bundle accepting them and in this case I'm just going to use this wire tie that we've already defined and then accept it and you'll see how it grabs those wires and just kind of bundles, to, bundles them together inside this tie. Another option that we have is to create a cable. Here we've got three wires going across this entire part but maybe the middle section needs a sheath around it or a cable so if I identify the cable command select, uh, in this case it is important to select the same end of the wire and then accept that 
and now I'm going to define where I want my cable to go from so I'll pick the end point and you see it's building an actual path and then I'm going to go to these other wire ties and then right mouse button click to accept now over here in the command bar you want to come down and select the 22 uh, let's get the 22 4 gauge uh, uh, solid copper white and then we'll preview and you'll see it'll take those particular wires and run them through that cable path another option that we have is to actually create physical conductors of these particular wires so it actually gives you a physical uh, con will actually create a physical um, um, you know representation of the wires and gives you a better example of what they look like now at any time if you need to make a change for example edit a definition of a wire you notice these wires kind of extend up a little high it gives you this kind of tangent end that you can pull down you notice the wire is moving as I pull that down and when I accept it it uh, when I accept it, it allows me to. Uh, it, it actually moves that wire down. I'm going to do the same on this next one, and instead of getting out of the command, I'm just going to select the next wire, and it gives you the next one. So you don't have to actually right-click like I did on the first one, but you can pull that wire down a little bit, and you'll notice it updates automatically as you do that. So making an adjustment on the wires becomes very very easy. With that it kind of shows you how quickly we can create uh, these wires and build, a, uh, build a, a cable and also bundle wires together using uh, the wire harness wizard and, and, a, and a lot of the capabilities that come with it. So with that, that uh, is the end of this particular wire harness demonstration.